process. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and prepare all the pieces and parts that we need to do this page of the build. If you take a look at your manual, um, what we're going to see is looking on the left hand side is all the parts that we're going to need is, that come in the bags as well as on the center of the page the parts that we that we need to take off of trees and, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and gather up all the parts that we're going to need for this particular page. In the previous tutorial we opened up our, our bag A with uh, laid all of our nuts and bolts out in a tray. So for this particular step we're going to need two of the M5 lock nuts. We're going to need two of the M5 by 16 millimeter flathead screws. And back in our parts bag A where we put the rest of the parts back in so they wouldn't get lost, we're going to need to get a little body clip out of here. And this is a uh, 8 millimeter body clip and it's located in a bag with uh, some smaller hardware in there. Let's go ahead and take that out. You don't necessarily have to take out the rest of the parts quite yet. Um, kind of easy just to push the uh, clip through the bag and set it aside and we're going to put uh, the rest of the smaller parts back into our bag A and put them off to the side. Let's see, from there we're also going to need on the first step we're going to need part number 85414-4 and if you'll remember, in the for one of the first steps, we went ahead and labeled our bags so they're easy to find. 85414, and we're going to need two pieces of dash four. Um, you really need to be careful when you're opening up these bags because parts do fall off the trees, and um, you don't want to get them messed up and not be able to find them later. So we need two part number dash fours and we're going to look at our tree and we're going to see that part fours are right here. You can take a look. Um, they're little steering post mounts that go into the upper plate and again when you look at your tree you're going to see that they're marked with a number on this one which is actually 85414 and then the parts are individually numbered and there's a number four in between the two of these signaling that there are two pieces. So we're going to go ahead and um, cut those off of our tree and place, make sure that no parts fell off. We're going to go ahead and place this tree back into the bag that's marked so we know exactly where stuff is for the next step and it's a Ziploc bag. We're going to go ahead and seal that up. Um, as we mentioned before in previous videos, we really suggest that you trim off all the uh, excess flanges and, and whatnot off of your, your parts. It makes for a much better build. Um, and you can use a hobby knife to go ahead and uh, clean those up the rest of the way. So we have two of these units. We are also going to need, going down, parts number 8. 5440-1 and dash 4. Um, eight, the tree that these are on, which is 85440, is the tree that we set aside that's not in a bag and it has your, your roll cage on there. Um, what we're looking at at this point is this part right here, which is marked 4. We're going to go ahead and remove that. You can use your pliers if, or your little wire cutters if you would like to. And the other part that we need on there is dash one. And there are several of them. There's actually uh, five of them total. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these off of our tree. And use our little nippers. It it's always makes for a cleaner job. If you do it right, you don't have to clean it up with your with your exacto knife. Um, again, we're going to go ahead and set this back off to the side so that we know where it is. And I believe that that's it for parts except for we do need the aluminum top plate. And that's going to be located in the bag full of aluminum. And it is 
in its own little bag inside. We're gonna, again, it's in the aluminum parts bag. We're going to go ahead and take out just this piece and set the other bag aside. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the plastic bag. And you can see this is the top plate that goes in on the front of your, uh, of your Baja. So these are all the parts that we're going to need, as well as the uh, bulkhead assembly that we assembled in page 8. So go ahead and get all of your stuff uh, organized and ready and taken off your trees and laid out. And we're going to go ahead and proceed with the next step here. While we've got the front plate out, I'm going to introduce a part to you that's uh, put out by Turtle Racing. And it is a billet front plate. And it is uh, an excellent, excellent piece of, of machine work. And it's put out by Turtle Racing. Um, anything that Turtle Racing has is a... Uh, a recommended item as far as Team Fast Eddie is concerned. Um, you can see if we put them up together that uh, all the holes are in the, the proper place. Everything is there. It's a beautifully, beautifully made piece. It is actually much thicker than the original plate. And because it is much thicker, he's actually gone through and made uh, nice little pockets where, where things should be recessed down into the down into the top plate. Um, the edges are beautifully rounded and it's just overall just a gorgeous piece and it's high on the recommended list of hop-ups here at Team Fast Eddie. Uh, so go ahead and if it uh, intrigues you um, I would go ahead and order one and don't ever hesitate to put on anything that Turtle Racing makes. Um, however we are doing the stock build so we are going to use the HPI plate today. Again Get all your stuff ready, and we'll be right back, and we're going to go ahead and start to assemble this.